The next stop is Fifth Avenue. We are on our way to breakfast at Penelope's. Well, it's meant to be really good. It's meant to be the same standard as um, Jack's Wife Reader. So that's exciting. And I asked on Instagram for some recommendations. So we've got quite a few. So I think tomorrow we're probably going to go to one of those recommendations. Guys, I've still not seen One World Trade Center. It's Wednesday now. We've been here since Monday night. And I've still not seen it. But we're going to get a tour, a tour bus later on. So I'll definitely see it then, which I can't wait for. Okay, so this is Lexington Avenue. It's one of my favorite avenues or streets in Manhattan. Um, and it's actually the street that Stubbs and Woodson is on, I think. Is Stubbs and Woodson on Lexington or Madison? It's on Madison. Oh, it's on Madison. Okay, scratch that, it's on Madison. But I really, really like Lexington Avenue. Again, it's one of those ones where I think a lot of ad agencies are based upon. There it is, Penelope's. Oh, it looks really cute. London, but mainly in New York they just give me this little pot of maple syrup that is never enough for me and having this jug is just what we need oh my god you guys I wish you could smell it don't eat it till I've taken a picture huh? don't eat it till I've taken a picture no, I... with the camera <laughs> priorities this is my Nutella French toast I had to pay an extra dollar but it's so worth it let's see how it tastes with some grapes some butter maple syrup we've got a side of bacon Alan got um, like, uh, waffles for three years. Oh my god, it's amazing. I've got to take a picture. I must admit, I'm starting to feel defeated. One of these would have been enough, but I'm soldiering on. We'll make it. Okay, so after that amazing breakfast, which I ate all of it, I was surprised. And it's been like an hour and something. I'm still in a food coma. I just went back to the hotel, um, but we did. Um, and I put on an extra layer under my jumper and then my black scarf. Um, because we're getting on the tour bus now, and I think when you're just sitting still, you can get a bit cold. So I think this will be better for me. So we're just walking there now. We're going to get on the big brown bus again. Why are you looking at me? The big bus stool. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to get on the big brown bus. We got that in Washington last year and we've gotten it in Paris. We need to do it in London. Um, it's a really, really good company for tours. We've never tried it in New York though. We did um, the Grey Line in New York last time. So we're going to try that this time and we'll let you know if we recommend that one. Okay, we've got our big bus tickets. It, um, it's $62 for two days, unlimited everything. You get a night tour cruise. You get an hour um, bike ride in Central Park. So you get a lot with it. $62, but they do kind of make you deals. This is something we've learned along our travels with all types of bus tours, because we take a lot of them um, whenever we travel somewhere. So we got it for $57 each. I just said to him, is there any way you can do a deal? And he said $57. So I was happy with that. I don't need to push it anymore because he needs to make money too, you know? Like the guy you buy it from. So yeah, happy with that deal. Always good to try and make a deal with them because they do it anyway. So we're now on our way. The first stop is outside the M&M building in Times Square. So we're just gonna go wait for the bus there. And then tonight, because the weather's dry today, I think we're going to go on the uh, night bus. Which, that is what I'm so excited for, because we did the night bus with the grey uh, line tour buses. Not last year, but the year before. It was so cold that I was completely wrapped up, like, in my head was like, wrapped up in a scarf, my coat, blankets, everything. And I was so cold that I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I think I must have been knocked unconscious from the cold. That's my theory. Um, Alan would just say I'm being dramatic, but that's what, that's what I think happened. And so half of it I don't remember because I fell asleep on the way to Brooklyn. And then I woke up and we were back in Manhattan. So I'm really excited to see that again and actually enjoy it and not be thinking that I'm going to lose my fingers and toes. So that would be fun. So we are on our tour bus. We love tour buses. They're so helpful to learn everything about a city where you're traveling to. 
there's Times Square ahead. And we've got our headphones so we can be real geeks and learn everything. There is my favourite flat iron. It's just such a cool building. Also, you know guys, apparently it wasn't until like, I can't remember what the year was, but there was a really interesting fact. But anyway, when they first built this uh, building, Flatiron, it had no women's bathrooms because women weren't really allowed to work then. How crazy is that? Can you imagine? So when they um, moved it, when they started getting women working there, now all the toilets on each floor are men's on one floor and then one floor up is women's. So they had to alternate them per floor because women had no bathrooms. Yay, I'm so excited. Look, there's Freedom Tower. First time we've seen it in two days. I don't know how it took so long for us to see it. Oh, it's so good. So we're in and these are sunglasses that I tried in Alice Wall. You want both with prescription? Right? Oh, I, think, I think if you're going to get like, sunglasses, you need to get the most ridiculous sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, it's nice clear. What do you think? So we keep walking straight, yeah? Still making our way to Cat's Deli. I love this area. More about. Okay, East Houston or Houston and Ludlow, Lud Lud Ludlow is Cat's Deli. So it's the equivalent of London's bagel shop on Brick Lane. Uh, so let's see how it is. I've never tried the bagel shop actually, so I'll have to put that on my London list. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hi. That's Thank how you, you order, pay, and exit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was crazy. It's so busy. Basically, what you do is it says cutters like numbers, and you line up there, and then you tell a guy what you want, and he gives it to you. So we got a pastrami. I guess it's like a roll. Um, I've never really had pastrami before, but he gave us a bit to try, and it's really, really yummy. So this is just one sandwich, but he cut it in half for us, which is pretty good because I was going to order one, but there's no way I could eat both of those. Look how much pastrami is in them. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's hot. How is it good? I'm really getting curious as to what Alan's doing in there. He went in to get chewing gum and he's like really, really checking out all of the items. So we'll see what he comes out with. Look at him inspecting them all. Yep, still can't make his mind up. He's probably just gonna buy extra. What did you choose? Sorry? Let's see. Extra. extra. Oh, it's good gum. Is it sugar free? I don't know. I think so. I was thinking earlier. I wonder how long it will take me to Miss London when we move here. Because at the moment, I actually forgot about London. So I wonder how long does it take when you leave somewhere you don't love before you start to think about it and miss it. Right, should we keep walking down to get the bus or walk back up? Go back up. Walk back up, yeah? So we just popped into Starbucks. It took us actually quite a while to find Starbucks. Um, if you want to see our adventures of trying to find Starbucks, then you can watch Alan's vlog because he was vlogging then. But I finally got a Frappuccino to try. It's one of the specials because it's the birthday of Frappuccino. Um, and it's the smallest Frappuccino and I got decaf because coffee makes me go funny. So let's see how it tastes. Wow. That's good, yeah. Strong of coffee. Sorry? It's quite a strong flavour of coffee. Really good. Yeah, but it's really nice. It kind of tastes like what the... Like, I don't like the taste of coffee apart from in the, the Starbucks Frappuccinos because they're so sweet, it kind of balances it out. Mm, it's really good. It's like milky and creamy and then you get like a lump of caramel or marshmallow or something. Really, really nice. I'm glad I tried that because we don't get anything like this in London. 
we're back on the tour bus. We've got our frappuccinos. These are so good. I'm so happy right now. I could cry. Just look at this view. This is what City Kitchen looks like. It's just on the side of the Row Hotel. We ate here quite a few times last time we stayed in the Row. It's a great experience. They've got um, Philly cheese steaks, burgers, sushi, crab rolls. Ooh, actually, you know what? I've never had a crab roll. I'm kind of tempted to try one. And they've also got dough donuts, which I'll show you guys shortly, as we're going to get some takeaway dough donuts for the bus tonight when we go on the night tour. Oh, no tissue. Look how good these chips look. Oh, yeah. No tissue either? because I've got a lot of hair when the wind blows I feel like my hair flicks the people behind who sit behind us and that's just a bit awkward let's be honest <laughs> so no one has to worry about it now we're both wrapped up a bit warm I just can't wait to eat my donut really okay hold on so I know I'm a really soppy person but I'm just so happy right now okay. there's something about people watching is my favourite being in New York is my favourite so being on a tour bus is even better and the fact that we can like, I mean it's going to get a bit cold, but it doesn't really matter. And then just like, as we drive along the streets, I love hearing the history, but I just love looking as well. I love looking at all the buildings and daydreaming. It's such beautiful lighting. There's something about New York that I just feel inspired all the time. Did you get that? Alan has heard this speech so many times. How many times do you hear me just once? Every day. Oh god, I've got two ring yeah, guys, so, okay. so we've got a seat on... This guy's uh, interrupting my vlog. The bus. Leave at like 8 o'clock. And I'm intrigued how long this tour's going to take. Whoa, those are some serious ring calls. Yeah, I'm really excited. Right. Isn't it so beautiful? This is currently what we're looking at. I think we've got 20 minutes before we go. It doesn't even matter. This just looks so good. Can't wait to eat the donut, so we're gonna have it now. Look how many wrinkles I've got. Can you believe it? Yeah. They came out of <clears throat> I think maybe my glasses concealed them. So and then you say to me how many I've got. You have got more than me. Payback time. Oh. As good as you remembered? Yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah. Mm. Good? It's cold. It's nice. Okay, we're going to film me eating the whole day now. Wow, that was cold! So I didn't film much because I could barely feel my hands. But when we went over the Manhattan Bridge, that view was breathtaking. If you're ever in Manhattan or you live here or whatever, you have to go on the night tour if you haven't done it. 
it's so so beautiful and 100 percent worth it and um, just wrap up warm because we weren't warm enough at all so what i'm thinking is because i didn't get much footage from the night one yeah. i'm gonna do a montage of the all day like footage i got off the bus so cue the montage <laughs> 